The commission is recommending suspension for Judge Franklin Bynum, a district judge here at the Criminal Justice Center just uh, behind me there. Initial investigation was sparked by several complaints, one of those coming from the Harris County DA's office. The commission's uh, findings also resulting in three charges for Judge Bynum, who first took the bench in 2019. Let me welcome everyone. That is Judge Franklin Bynum. He presides over misdemeanor court number eight, but KPRC2 legal analyst Brian Weiss says he may soon find himself on a rare and surely unwanted list. I can't remember the last time that a judge has been suspended in Harris County based on something less than an allegation of criminal wrongdoing. The allegations against Judge Bynum consist of him being biased against prosecutors and easy on defendants. Ray Hunt with the Houston Police Officers Union says he filed a complaint against him last year. He's an admitted socialist. Uh, he's anti-police, he's anti-government, he's anti-victim. He's definitely pro-suspect. The charges against Judge Bynum are bias against the state for conduct demonstrating bias against the Harris County DA's office, failure to comply with the law for his failures to comply with the laws with respect to those laws in a manner that favor defendants and defense attorneys, and reasonable doubt regarding judicial impartiality for his public statements and treatment of the DA's office, which casts doubt on his capacity to act impartially. These allegations aren't criminal. These allegations are more in line with a civil lawsuit that the commission has filed to remove Judge Bynum from the bench. We reached out to Judge Bynum in a statement. He said the completely unprecedented actions of the Judicial Conduct Commission this week violate both the spirit and the letter of the Texas and United States constitutions. I welcome the beginning of this long overdue formal process to challenge their allegations. And Judge Bynum now has 15 days to respond to those charges against him. We also reached out to the Harris County DA's office and obtained a statement. In, a, in that statement, they said, judges swear an oath to uphold the law and strive for impartiality. The criminal justice system works only if they adhere to that oath, to their oath rather. We trust that the Texas Supreme Court will take appropriate action, In quote. We're live in downtown tonight. Bill Barajas, KPRC 2 News.